guys, what's up? It's me, Fangbanger. In this video, I'm bringing you another FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. That is girl style. And in this one, I'm going to try to change it up a little bit. I did make this team that you'll see here. It is called the Stone Cold Stunners. And as you take a brief look at them, you will understand exactly why they have that name. Pretty much every player on this team I decided to pick up is a bald player or almost bald. Some of them, it was really hard. Like it took me quite some time to go through and try to find people that were even close to being bald. So you have some people that have like this like shadow of hair on top of their head and the receding hairline. So they're probably shaving their head and they just happen to be grown back by the time they made this picture. But this is going to be a little bit different than the rest of my other videos. Usually I have like, you know, some clips of my uh, goals and then you know, I have music playing and all that, but this team was so horrible that I couldn't even really go on that far to even play that many games with them. It was just not very fun to play with. Uh, they have 78 chemistry. You can see there's some frustration that went on as I already have a red card after like three games with this guy right here, but I'm going to probably show you just some footage of two games that I played and how frustrating it was and what I had to do. As you can see, I have a bench of pretty much bald players. I went for like semi-bald that could make up for, you know, if I was losing just completely terribly, then I'm going to try to put these guys in and make a comeback. And it was just, it was just horrid, but this was still an okay team to play with. They did better than I expected. They were just kind of slow, you know, they had no chemistry, so it was hard to do anything. Let's take a look at some of the players that I have, though, on the starting squad at the striker position. I have Andrew Johnson. He is completely bald. Most of these players, like, you would, you would think they would, and then you got in the game, and then they had, like, hair on their head, and you're like, where did this come from? At the right wing position, I picked up Ruben Sagovic. Sadgovic, I guess that's what his name is. Um, left wing position, we have Johan Molo. Then down here at the left mid position, we have Wendell. I don't know how to say the rest of his name. Mauricio Aid Silva. La 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 la. He was probably one of my better players to play with on the team. Left side center mid position, we have Richard Chaplo. In the right side center mid position, we have Esteban Cambiaso, the only like good player, four star weak foot. I could have probably banged in some crazy goals from really far away from him, but I just never got a shot to. I might try it later on. I don't think I'm going to sell this team right away. In the right mid position, we have Thomas Buffel. Um, right side center back position, Daniel Alberto Diaz. The center back position in the middle, we have Jose Carlos Arrojo Nunez. I don't know. Nunez. He got a red card. Look at the 41 pace. Look at my defense. My gosh. And then the left side center back position, we have Maicon. Not to be confused with the Oh, so awesome Brazilian Micon that's a right back. And then in the goalkeeper position, I picked up Brad Friedel, which was actually a really good goalkeeper. Like, if you get a chance to get him and you're playing, I guess, with an American squad or maybe a BPL squad, definitely pick him up because he did stop a lot of stuff that should have happened from being scored on me. But yeah, oh, and then manager, I decided to pick up this manager right here. His name is Mbilek. Belek, I guess I'm not entirely sure how to say that, but he is bald as well. So it's pretty funny. It's a funny team. I'm sure if people came up against him, they thought it was pretty humorous, but they were some of the most frustrating games I played. Four stars only, I think, because I've got Balotelli on the bench and like Ramirez and stuff. So yeah, I wouldn't uh, advise building this team, but I would advise uh, watching, I guess, the game. That's, I guess I'm going to show two games that I played with them and just uh, feeling my frustration. So I decide I'm not going to go to a gold tournament. I'm going to go to this three-nation tournament, and I'm playing, you know, not a very good chemistry team. And I start out really strong. I get this really nice cross, and it is a header by Cambiasso, which is, I never hit those in this game, so that was pretty awesome that I even got a chance to do that. Look at all those bald dudes running around. It was pretty funny. But, of course, he returns and gets a header of his own from a freaking corner kick, which people score on me on those all the time it seems to feel like and he's like dancing like he's cool and i'm like whatever bra look at my freaking fang banga he just got fang bang right there i just totally nailed that shot with malo and it was awesome i knew i was gonna win this game until this happened look that for one i'm wide open i should get the shot there i always they always get lucky and they get that but no epic failure is about to happen i'm just thinking oh yeah i'm just gonna stop him over here yeah what 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 is my goalie doing out there? What is my keeper doing? And he doesn't even have a good first touch for one epic fail. 86th minute. I was going to win that game. I was so mad. And, of course, he goes into penalties. We go, like, we kicked so many penalty shots. And I'm, I make this one. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to miss that one with Cambiasso. I'm good to go. All I got to do, you know, is start blocking some of his shots and hope that he doesn't make a goal. And I go the exact way that he goes with that. And, of course, for some reason, for some stroke of God, I miss it. This 
is it. I mean, this is it. I've got to make this. I've got to make this. And of course, the one time, like this dude's been jumping around the whole time. The one time I kick it in the middle, he happens to be right there to stop me. So moving on, I'm going to play my second game. This guy's got a terrible defense, at least from what I can tell. Hopefully, I mean, his chemistry's all right. Oh, oops. Start out the game. I cannot believe I did that. Red card. Way to start the game. I'm just not even very happy right now. And after that red card, he makes a pretty good run up the field here. He just gets a good break. For some reason, I always run into each other. Or my players always run into each other. And, of course, the deflection off the keeper. Come on, keeper. Put your hands on there. Thiago May said, I am done. I'm putting in substitutions. I only have 10 players. Who cares? I'm putting in Balotelli. And I'm putting in Ramirez. They're just the rather fast bald guys on my team. <laughs> so once I put them in, you know, he makes a really stupid mistake. I don't know what he's thinking right here. But I get a header that goes right to Balotelli where he's wide open. And if he's wide open, you're always going to score Balotelli if you don't don't there is an issue but that did not happen the rest of the game and we ended up going into penalties a second time of going into penalties I need to make this of course I mean we've literally scored so many I don't even make it this team frustrated me oh my god it frustrated me I'm so ah my record is just tarnished I'm gonna have to play with one of my good teams I wouldn't advise making this team but it is a pretty funny one and I'm sure it does like make people tickle or it tickles their pickles Whenever they like see the team and it says Stone Cold Stunners and they're like, oh, they're all bald guys. But yeah, that was my day with the Stone Cold Stunners. Um, hopefully I will be able to just discard the entire team and work on making another team that's a little bit better. Hope you enjoyed the video though. And until next time, get fang bang nerds.